Today's Bible study is titled, But After Faith is Come. Since the beginning of Galatians 3, Paul has turned from a history of his interactions with the kingdom gospel apostles and leaders and has been directly addressing the Galatian believers from that foundation. And that foundation began in Galatians 1, verse 6 to 7, where he stated, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you. He has clearly shown that the obedience of Israel's Mosaic law that was bound up with Israel's kingdom gospel and Israel's associated new covenant is no longer another gospel by the time of this writing, and certainly one that the neither the Galatian believers nor subsequently any other members of the body of Christ should be troubled by. In our last session, we looked at Paul addressing wherefore then serveth the law and saw Paul state that by the Mosaic law, the scripture hath concluded all under sin, both Gentile and Jew, given that by the law is the knowledge of sin, Romans 3, verse 20. But he continued that it was God's ultimate purpose that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Do not miss whose faith. Today we continue from this basis, but before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Galatians 3, verses 23 to 25. Let's break this down. Do not miss the lead-in for Paul's observations here. Namely, but before faith came, namely the faith of Jesus Christ. This places what follows as a description of in time past in which we Gentiles walked according to the course of this world, Ephesians 2, verse 2. But as believers and thereby members of the body of Christ, today we live in God's but now, wherein the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, Romans 3, verse 21. With this understood, Paul continues that prior to the faith of Jesus Christ benefiting those who would believe, all were kept under the law, shut up. So even though the Gentiles were not beneficiaries of Israel's covenants, nevertheless they too were kept under and shut up under Israel's Mosaic law until the faith of Christ would afterwards be revealed. Paul observes yet another wherefore of the law, noting wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. And so he shows that another purpose of the Mosaic law was to teach all, Jew and Gentile, to come under the faith of Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by belief and grace through faith and same. Finally, we come to Paul's point, and that is, but after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. In other words, for the believer and beneficiaries of the faith of Christ, namely all members of the body of Christ, the schoolmaster role of the law is done and no longer serves any purpose in the believer's life. Believer, know that there is no role for Israel's Mosaic law in your life, in the but now of the dispensation of the grace of God. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.